food is also our way to fight back, to resist. There is this historian in the Philippines named Iget Ramos, and he did a talk on crops of oppression. So that's coconut, sugar, and rice. So there is a name for that. Filipino food is not fusion, number one. Number two, it is edible history, and that comes along with all cuisines. All our food is edible history. And number three, what has come to our islands, we created as our own. In the Philippines, revolutions happen, or even, I mean, let's even talk about like just history across the globe. Where did revolutions come to plan? Centric around food. It's in a carinderia. It's in a pub. What's there? Food and drinks. So the, those where our ideas come from and that's how we fight back and that's how we need to re-educate ourselves. We need to decolonize our minds. There's 12 billion Filipinos in diaspora. That's 10% of our population. That's a big number because humans are our biggest export. So with that, what do we take when we go to this new land? The only thing that we always take is our food because that's how we claim our identity.